Hello, I'm Dr. Stuart Cozen. I wanted to give you a little update on the anterior hip replacement status. I've now been doing it for five years. I've done over 800 anterior total hips. And so I've learned a few things, and they're all good. I want to share them with you. Just as a refresher, though, I want to point out what we're talking about, hip arthritis. In this model, the red area is the cartilage that's worn away, and so you get a bone-on-bone -bone grinding. So the goal of any hip replacement is to replace the joint surfaces with a cup and a femoral component. The anterior hip is done on a special table. The table has you lie flat, and it applies traction to the involved leg that allows us to dislocate the hip without cutting any muscles at all. It's quite a remarkable procedure in that most of the pain fibers of the hip are in the muscles. And since we don't detach the muscles or cut the muscles, there's very little pain with this procedure. Um, the woman I saw on rounds this morning who had the hip done yesterday, when I asked her, how much pain are you having? She said, zero. I said, zero? How is that possible? She said, it doesn't hurt. And it's really quite remarkable. And that's what all the, the big news is about. This idea that you can have a hip replacement and return to your activities very quickly and have very little pain. Uh, and it's quite remarkable. And I have to say, I'm even more impressed with it now after having done 800 than I was early on. So what else do we do in the procedure? With the table allowing the hip to be dislocated, a saw takes the femoral head off and moves the femur out of the way. That allows us to work on the socket side. An x-ray machine allows me to look inside the pelvis. The socket is treated with a ringer that takes away the old cartilage. The old cartilage comes away and it leaves a space that's perfectly proportioned for the socket component. And that's checked on x-ray to be in the right position. That's one of the big advantages of the anterior hip. You could put a cup in this way, this way. It has to be put in just right. And the x-ray allows you to check on the position of the cup. Now, on the femur side, I'm able to work the femur with a special rasp that creates the space for the implant. The implant is titanium and it fits inside the femur. The final construct is a metal femur with a metal socket and a plastic liner. And that's the anterior hip. And again, the remarkable part of it is I was able to get this device in without cutting any muscles. Now, we do cut some of the ligaments in the front in order to get the hip in, and that's why with any hip replacement, there are precautions for about three months until the ligaments reform, because it is possible if you get into a funny position to lever the hip out of the socket. It's much less likely to happen with the anterior hip because the tension in the muscles holds the hip tightly in place. And so patients with an anterior hip are allowed to do more things. They're allowed to tie their own shoes, they're allowed to sleep on their side, they're allowed to drive their cars, and they're allowed to be much more active and get rid of their canes and crutches much faster. Therefore, it's a, be it's a better procedure, and I believe it's a better procedure. I think you will see over time that all orthopedic surgeons eventually offer the anterior hip. One of the reasons they don't right now is it takes a while to learn how to do it. It takes extra time and effort. You need to go visit with a mentor that's done it before. I did visit with Dr. Joel Mata in California. He's the inventor of the procedure, and I did learn his techniques before I started doing this on my own. There is what they call a learning curve involved, which means whenever you do a new procedure, you're better at it in the second hundred hips than you were in the first hundred hips. And so we do our best to, to make the right decision 
if a patient's going to be very difficult to do, then we might decide on that particular patient to do the hip through uh, a posture approach where we cut more muscle, therefore it's easier to get the case done. Certainly, even now, some patients who have a large abdominal panis or very overweight because there's increased problems with the wound and the groin, I'll still want to do those cases through a posture approach to avoid the wound complications. I have mastered the approach, however, in strong, large, muscular males, which initially are the hardest patients to do because since we're not cutting any muscles, the big, thick, muscular males are the hardest to retract the muscles out of the way. And uh, it takes a while to get confident with that group, but I'm certainly uh, there now. I had a patient here today uh, who I think we're going to film in his uh, gym. He's 47, had the anterior hip, and he's a very ardent competitor of jiu-jitsu and uh, martial arts. And he does some things that may or may not be good for his hip, but he does them. And uh, today he told me he's also uh, a wrestler. And so he gets himself in incredibly complicated positions and has no problems with the hip. He's quite thrilled. And I hear that more and more now. My younger active patients really go back to every normal activity. And so it's a good procedure. And I, I do recommend it for anybody who needs a hip replacement. The other thing I wanted to talk about today is outpatient hip replacement, because this is really a game changer. We haven't really thought of joint replacement as an outpatient procedure because there's blood loss, there's anesthesia, there's medications for pain. Well, it turns out the anterior hip, because it doesn't hurt that much, and because it's done through a relatively small incision that doesn't cut muscles, it doesn't bleed that much, and I now have a number of patients who request to go home the same day as surgery. If you're interested in going home the same day, then I generally do the case first in the morning, 7.30, and we have you up walking about two hours after the surgery, doing your therapy, uh, getting uh, instructions from the nurses and the staff, and really by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, if you're feeling good, we take one last look at you, check you out, make sure you look good, and we send you home. Uh, I've now sent home um, 11 patients that I can remember and because I did look them up and they've all done fabulous and they all said they would do it again. We're going to write that group up in a research project because this could be the future of hip replacement. Uh, one of the things I would like to add is possibly a nurse visit at home the night of the surgery and I think that would really put the icing on the cake in terms of just being able to check people that are nervous about going home the same night as surgery. I think a visiting nurse or possibly a visiting PA could come by, take the blood pressure, check on you, and make sure everything's okay. Interestingly enough, a number of the people who went home had a spouse or a loved one that had a medical background, either a nurse or a, a, a MA or somebody familiar with medicine, and that made them much more comfortable about going home. So we won't force anybody to go home the same day, but it's available and I think it's quite safe and really a game changer um, to be able to go home the same day as your hip surgery, to literally be back to work the day after hip surgery. These are incredible concepts and they're all possible with the anterior hip and we're doing them now. So I just want to let you know that this really is a special procedure. Uh, in the past, some new procedures have come up. They turned out to be more marketing and uh, more hype, and they didn't stand the test of time. Dr. Mata has been doing this procedure for 15 years and has uh, long-term results. Certainly check his website. It's uh, www.hipandpelvis.com for his long-term results, but I'm, I'm very thrilled with this procedure and I strongly recommend it. And I'm going to post this video to give you more confidence. Uh, please come visit us and we'll answer your questions. Thank you.